Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the navigation and nodes tools that are found within the environments tab. Now I'm doing both of them today because they're both really quick and really simple to use, but also very useful. So I'm going to start here with the navigation. Now the navigation is used by placing down, let's see, you got to select it first, this flag, and it creates a box for you. Now what you got to do is you got to set the width and the height of that box to how big you want it to be. Now, this box is used by zombies, and this, uh, this box is used to calculate their walking paths and where they can be and where they can't be. So I'll bake it really quick and hopefully it's not very laggy because there's not that many items for them to walk around. Well, as you can see it takes a while because it's a pretty big area. Okay, now that it's done, uh, yeah, you can see it's drawn these yellow arrows, no, these yellow lines everywhere. So these lines represent the areas where the zombies can actually walk. As you can see, they can walk upstairs, they can walk up the stairs. But as you see, when you get to a wall or something, there's an area that they can't walk. That's to keep the zombies' movement realistic and stuff like that. But it will, the longer, it'll take longer if you have more items down, and it can be a very long time if you've got a ton of detail in your map. So just a warning. But you know, my computer's not that great either, so, you know, if you got a beast computer, it'll be no problem I'm sure so anyway you can place multiples of these usually you want to place them around anywhere zombies are able to spawn you can make them super huge to get rid of them you press delete when the center is selected and to select the center you just have to click really close to it and you can have them overlapping and stuff too so that's pretty much what the navigation does now onto the nodes the nodes are also very simple but also very useful Pretty much, uh, you can change location, safe zone. Those are the only two options so far. Um, the safe zone will just define an area where you're safe from zombies. I don't know if this is used in horde mode or if you can use this in survival. Um, horde mode just came out, so not much has been made for it yet. But I've got a feeling it's for uh, horde mode. So horde, horde mode is going to be sort of a... Call of Duty type zombie waves and stuff like that. Okay, sorry about that random pause. There's a uh, an ad that went off in the background. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I'll uh, I'll show you a video about that uh, horde mode once it comes out officially. Not much has been done yet with it, but you know, when it comes out, I'll show you guys what it's about. But yeah, you can place down the safe zone, change the radius, really big, really small. Um, yeah. And for the location, this is actually really interesting. This is used for the map. You can place the location, and you can type the name of the location. So I'm just going to call it Random Town. And it really doesn't do anything yet, but when you generate a map, which actually I'll show you that now. The way you generate a map is you press Escape. You can save your map, which I'll just save it now. You can exit your map, or you can make a screenshot of your map which will just be an overview and in just a minute I'll show you where to find that but now wherever this point is it'll show uh, the title of random town so that's a great way to name your uh, your locations so I could place it up there and just be like big hill you know and of course you can delete them by clicking on them I'm gonna delete, delete this one instead because that's just a random crappy hill, and just pressing delete, and it's gone. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys where to find the map picture, or in the icon that it just saved. Okay, guys. So, now to find the map, you don't even need unturned opened. All you have to do is open up your Steam, and this is a great way also to get to your... Um, game files so you click right click unturned go to properties inside your game list go to local files and browse local files now once you're into the local files for the game you go to maps the name of the map which 
in this case it's new map and then you've got a map PNG file now I'm just gonna open it up with let's see what will I open it up with I'll open it up with paint paints just pretty basic and so you know there's my map right there so the name hasn't shown up on it that's because you have to be inside the map like if you play single player on that world I actually show you that forget it I'll just show you that but yeah there's the map as you update it and add more stuff it'll add it onto the map as long as you recreate the map so yeah opening up unturned again It's not too slow, really. Okay, so I'm going to play on that map, even though there's not even any spawn points. But, yeah, when there's no spawn points... See, there we go. Random town. So, that's what the node does, officially. Yeah. Creates the name and location. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I appreciate your support a lot. It motivates me to make more of these videos. Yeah, it's kind of discouraging when you make a decent video and you don't get any views on it. But thank you so much for watching this. And please check out other videos on our channel if you're interested in this type of stuff. I've done maybe six tutorials now. But I will be doing lots more as I work through the map editor. So... Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want to see some more. See you guys later.